Hello, everyone. I am Ezekiel Bruni. I am a general writer, tech nerd sort of thing. And right now I'm here on behalf of VPN Mentor to talk about the best Android based VPNs, or at least the best VPNs that have Android apps. The screen looks a little different this time. That's because I've got a live view of my phone. I can control it with my mouse or with my hand. It's all very cool, actually. So, uh, but before I get into this, if you like this video, if you find it helpful and useful, please do like and subscribe. Uh, maybe click that notification bell icon and do check out the links in the description because we are going to have links to full reviews of all of these VPN services, ExpressVPN, Private Internet Access, and CyberGhost with all of the tests we've run, everything we've checked out, all of the streaming services we've tried, so you get a full picture of how the full VPNs work. Please do go ahead and check those out if that interests you. Now, let's get into it. Which of these is rocking the Android world? Well, all of them. This isn't a comparison so much as it is a showcase of just the better options. So first we're going to start with our usual favorite. ExpressVPN, but it's simple, it's cool, I'm just going to connect. ExpressVPN, it should be noted, is good for just about everything. Gaming, streaming, uh, media online, it's especially made for streaming, uh, mo uh, movies and TV shows and all that good stuff. And it is our all-in-all all all top choice. The Android app is no exception here, it is pretty solid. It gives you options for auto-connecting when Android starts up or when you're joining untrusted networks. It gives you just general network protection, so it, it allows you to either stay connected to local devices such as your local Chromecast while still using the VPN, or if you want to block your internet when you're unable to connect to, to the VPN, that's a good old kill switch that can protect your privacy. It has split tunneling, so you can choose which apps use ExpressVPN or not. And you can choose your VPN protocol. Now, it should be noted there are a couple uh, options in the desktop client that aren't here in the Android client. They're more obscure protocols, so it's nothing to worry about. All of the, these will usually work just fine, and the automatic choice is usually the best one anyway. The rest of these settings don't have much to do with the actual features of the app. All in all, it works just fine. We like it. It's got plenty of options. I, as, as a simple Android VPN, I do highly recommend it. It's pretty cool. Oh, I almost forgot to showcase that you can select all the major servers from all over the world, just like you would on the desktop client. Although, uh, these are the recommended locations. You can go to all locations and connect through 94 different countries. It's pretty fantastic. That's a great server spread for any VPN. Now, how does ExpressVPN handle streaming on Android? Well, in my tests so far, pretty well. Um, it's hard to show you on screen though, so I'll, I'll explain that in a second. So I'm connected here uh, via ExpressVPN to the Dallas server. Yay, my favorite. And let's hit a show, any show. And now we're just going to see a black screen on the screen there. So as you can see, it is working. And we'll just stop there to avoid copyright trouble. So there you have it. ExpressVPN on Android, Netflix, mm, works just fine. Next up, we have private internet access. It's a pretty solid uh, choice. It's uh, generally pretty cheap. It's fairly privacy oriented, you know, great for general anonymity. Not always great for streaming, but sometimes it, it actually works rather well for that. Let's just search for Texas here because it's fairly close to me and I like that. And there we go. It's working just fine. It's uh, my phone is now connected to Texas. Let's uh, run over the features you've got here. You've got your kill switch. You've got some light automation features. I'll show you that later. You can open a private browser, which has to be configured. You can choose which features you show on that home screen. You get some data. You can choose to snooze your VPN for a little while, which I think is a really cool feature, honestly. And now let's dive into the settings a little more. You can access your dedicated IP settings from here. Dedicated IP addresses are good for banking and stuff. Not so great for anonymity. You've got your split tunneling, which they call per app settings in this version. And you can choose which apps use the service or not. And over in the settings tab, you have a few options. 
a bit less than you would in ExpressVPN, but you've got some. You've got your launch on system star startup, your dark theme, which is cool. You can uh, put widgets on the home screen, which is something not every VPN has, so that's cool. You have fewer VPN options. You only have two. And uh, I believe this uh, particular VPN actually has one more option on the desktop, so that's not a lot. You can set up the private internet access DNS service um, automatically, which is very cool. And there are some, some actually some fairly detailed security features and privacy features. Oh, there's the kill switch again. Now that I look into it. Oh, and obfuscation, which is a cool feature, which basically can help to hide the fact that you're using a VPN. It's pretty cool. So the private internet access client has some very cool features of its own and uh, that are easily accessible. I'd honestly recommend it for if you're um, quite privacy focused and you're looking for something on a budget. And the Android client, to me, looks great. And now it is private internet access's turn to get the Netflix test. So let's look up here. CyberGhost is disconnected, but private internet access is connected to the Texas server. And let's go with our favorite show for this test. Boom. Well, lo still loading. There we go, working. So now we're looking at CyberGhost. Again, you can go ahead and select from all the servers. You've got all your different countries to look at. You've got streaming server options, dedicated streaming servers. That's a really cool feature of CyberGhosts. You can favorite some servers. I've got Dallas favorited. And oh, look, I will probably need to blur out my IP address again. Oh, yes. Well, that's just life. Now we can hop into the settings here. Now, this actually has less settings than the rest for the most part. You can send anonymous statistics to CyberGhost if you want. Domain fronting, I'm not really sure that uh, what that does, if I'm honest. I think it's uh, if you want to use a domain and uh, DDNS rather than just DNS. And the rest is just sort of information here. Over here uh, on the VPN options, you can uh, set up your dedicated IP address again. You can choose from two VPN protocols or just let the app choose for you. You can activate a small packet size option, if, if, which is uh, useful for correcting speed or connection issues. Use random ports. Um, that's uh, that's pretty cool for anonymity. You can also, and this is very cool, activate a content blocker that will actually have CyberGhost block ads and trackers and malware for you. And you can use uh, a spe a special Wi-Fi protection. Uh, CyberGhost, as you can see, has its own approach to doing everything. And now it's time for the CyberGhost on Android Netflix test. As you can see, we are connected. And we, I am connected to Dallas, just like before, although it doesn't show it there. And let's get the phone up. <laughs> uh, pick a show, any show. Let's go with Arcane again, just because, you know, fun. And the window's going to do its little thing, but there we go. It is working. So honestly, the options you're looking at here are pretty solid, I think. The features do vary, so what the features that interested you the most, you might want to look at. Although some of those features are, I must admit, more designed for the advanced tech user. Most of these services, you can just sort of turn it on and go, you're fine. It's not a problem. But that's about it for now. That's about it for this video. Again, if you found this video helpful or useful, please do consider liking and subscribing. We'll have a lot of tutorials, a lot of how-tos, a lot of VPN reviews coming up. And do check out the links in the description for, um, you know, reviews of all of these. And a coupon page that can help you get a hefty discount on all of these services. You can get a pretty hefty discount on your first purchase, whether it's the first month or the first year or the first two years in some cases. So go ahead and look that up. And that's about it. I had a good time making this video. I hope you had a good time watching it. This is Ezekiel Bruni, signing out.